ABC Sports presents... College Basketball. Today, from Raleigh, North Carolina, the Kansas Jayhawks and North Carolina State. The central figure in today's game here in Raleigh, born and raised in the main in Greensboro, but he comes back wearing the colors of Kansas. Danny Manning played two years of high school basketball in Greensboro. The Manning family then moved off to the Middle West, Lawrence, Kansas. His father joining the staff of KU coach Larry Brown, which is why Danny Manning comes back to the state of his birth as a Jayhawk All-American. The home state well represented in the Wolfpack starting lineup, Chucky Brown, Brian Howard, and Charles Shackelford. The senior big man. Shaq has been a starter since the sixth game of his freshman year. Today it's an opportunity for national posture for him and the North Carolina State Wolfpack as they host the Kansas Jayhawks on ABC's College Basketball. This is Reynolds Coliseum on the campus of North Carolina State University. Close to 7 million people have watched college basketball games in this building since it opened in 1949. The Wolfpack have won 80% of the games played here, but the Kansas Jayhawks have not been among the victims. KU won here in 1959. This building and this university cornerstones in what we know now as the ACC. And when you dare travel to Baco Road, you ain't gonna find any yellow bricks. It's a tough place, but that's why Larry Brown and the Jayhawks are here. I've always said that if you play a conference game on the road, it doesn't prepare you for the NCAAs because your kids have been there before and they understand that. But when you play at Reynolds Coliseum against NC State or at Duke or, or at Louisville or Memphis State, that's like an NCAA tournament game. You're unfamiliar with the surroundings. You don't know how you're going to react in certain situations. And, and I think it's important that we play games like that early. The North Carolina State Wolfpack Drastic change in their philosophy. No more half court. Run and gun, press and press, and Coach Jim Balvano is committed to it. We're going to play this style of ball. The same philosophy I have about the season, which says, you know, people realize that we lose a lot more than people think we should, but we, we tend to win a lot more late than people think we ought to. I'm taking the same philosophy with this style of ball. Not, I'm not for a season. This is, I'd like to think, for unless they change rules for a decade. So I'm not going to pull back, I'm not going to concede and say, it's not working now, let's go back half court. I'm going to live with it, and I may die with it. Well, Dick Vitale, after 21 years of half court basketball, that's a drastic change. Well, he's always been a tempo guy, but right now Jimmy Valvano is going to play the up tempo. He wants to run with the basketball. We got two marquee names as coaches. Larry Brown is a basketball purist. He's a great teacher. He's a thinker. He's like Aristotle. If I had to really compare the personalities of Brown versus Valvano, we really have an Aristotle and a Don Rickles. And I'll let you decide who's Don Rickles. <laughs> All right, we've got two. We've got one of the premier players in the country in Danny Manning here. Everybody's all American. It seemed to me that that'll get Charles Shackelford all bumped up for the Wolfpack. Well, Danny Manning certainly is a multi dimensional player and a lock to be the player of the year in college basketball. He's so versatile, he's got so many skills. But if they're going to be successful at Kansas, they have to get great point guard play from Otis Livingston. Shackelford, he's a mystery player. He's a guy that's up and down like the Dow Jones market. And you talk about their backcourt, Del Negro and Corciani, it's the pasta connection. Do they own a deli? <laughs> All right, the starting lineups quickly for the Kansas Jayhawks. Danny Manning, 6'10", is the big man. Marvin Branch also sits in there at center at 6'10". Archer Marshall, 6'6". Six, six. Kevin Pritchard, the two guard, the shooter, 6'3", and Otis Livingston at the point, six-footer. For the Wolfpack, Chucky Brown have off to a good start in their two games that they have played in college basketball. He goes with Brian Howard along the front, the big man for the Wolfpack, Charles Shackelford, 6'10". Vinny Del Negro, and uh, Corciani in the backcourt. Corciani, of course, is a freshman, and Chris had an outstanding prep career, and there are a lot of those who wondered when he came to NC State if he could play at this level, but the answer is yes. 
Well, he can distribute the ball, Keith. He does a great job in passing the ball. And the most important guy, as we look at Corciani, is the coach, Valvano, and he likes him. And he said, hey, I'm not playing him because he's Italian. I'm playing him because I'm Italian. He just came off a bout of mononucleosis. There was no certainty that he would be able to play this week. But the doctors examined him on Tuesday. He was able to play in an exhibition game on Wednesday. And here he is starting a ball game now. So that tells you something about the respect that Jim Valvano has for him. The officials are all out of the big eight. Rich Eichhorst, Ron Zetcher, and Ed Hightower. And the Vital keys to the ball game. Well, you know, you mentioned the officials out of the big eight. I don't really like that, Keith, at all, because I'd rather see them as we look here. Kansas must utilize excellent shot selection, especially with state changing defenses. It's going to be important for their young guards. And Pritchard and Marshall got to help them offensively. And they got to control Danny Manning. They can't let him run wild. And Shackleford and Brown must rebound. Getting back to the officials, I'd rather see them use officials from another conference than bring big eight officials on the road. You're almost saying that we're going to eliminate the homer. Well, that's exactly what to say. <laughs> Well, Carolina State controlling the tip. That's Shackelford. The man had jumped in there. This is Corciani, the freshman out of Florida. He handles the ball out in front. And this is Brian Howard holding it. Inside they go against Manning. Brown puts it up and in. Chucky Brown, who just come off of an extensive weight program, is very strong this year. North Carolina State pressing the full floor. He's going to play 10, 12 people today. He's going to use the up-tempo. He's playing a lot of the same pressure defenses as Tom Davis. That was a great inside power move by Chucky Brown. Out in front, number 12, that's Otis Livingston out of junior college. He's a key man for them. Pritchard, sophomore out of Tulsa. And Bradley and Pritchard. They are really pumped up. He, they just went from a zone press into a 2-3 zone. Valvano will constantly change defenses. He will utilize a box and one. There he is, the entrepreneur, the Lee Iacocca of college basketball. Man-to-man -man defense by Kansas. That's Branch checking Shackelford. Marshall on Howard. Del Negro lobs it inside. Shackelford misses a shot. And Branch has the rebound. Branch may be very important on the boards today for Kansas. Manning driving it all the way in a whistle and a foul. Well, you made an important statement as we look right there at Danny Manning. Branch has got to give him rebounding, and he's got to give him defensive ability. Look at this kid right here. He's a gazelle. He's a thoroughbred. He's got great quickness. You're watching a 6'10 player get hit on the arm. He's very quick, very agile. He's going to go down in history, Keith. He'll be the... I guess joining three other players in history, Patrick Ewing, Lou Alcindor, David Robinson, and Danny Manning could all have more than 2,000 rebounds, more than 2,000 points, more than 1,000 rebounds, and shoot over 60% in their careers. Ryan Howard took all the mystery out of a foul. He just nailed him right across the arm, so he's going to shoot two. They're not really shooting free throws well at all, Kansas. You think about Syracuse, and you also think about Florida, three other, two other clubs, and they don't shoot well on a free throw line. Well, KU has played eight games. Their record is six and two, and Larry Brown is of the opinion their best effort was against St. John's in Lawrence when they won their 50th consecutive game in Allen Fieldhouse. Nothing flashy by Kansas. Play straight, head-to-head, -head, good, solid man-to-man -man defense. Shackleford got on top of the key. And Branch comes out to greet him there. They're working toward the corner. And Corciani sets from three, takes it inside, stolen by Manny. And he's gone. He's a finesse player. He's got good quickness. I believe in the NBA, Keith, no doubt he'll be the first player selected. And I really believe he will be a swing player, a number three man, and certainly not a power forward. Kansas now, after the slam dunk, goes to a press, but North Carolina State pops out of it very well. Out of the corner, Brian Howard. It's off the side of the iron. No good. Rebound. Picked out by Shackelford, but stolen by Livingston. Given to Branch, he's fouled by Corciani. There's two key players for Kansas. If Kansas is going to win the Big 8 championship in the Big 8 tournament, as you look at Jimmy Valvano changing defenses, they need some play out of this little guy, Otis Livingston. He's a junior college guard, makes a good decision, kicks the ball to the trail man, and the trail man is fouled right there, Marvin Branch. There are five JCs on the Kansas roster. Livingston coming from El Camino Junior College. Marvin Branch went to Benton County City College in Great Bend, Kansas. 
He's been all over the place. He started yes, yeah. up. He started at Gloucester. We can't even chart. He's originally committed to Temple. Then he said he was going to go to Pittsburgh. He went to two other junior college. He's the Marco Polo of basketball, a traveling man. <laughs> they hit all the truck stops along the way. Barciani brings it up in a hurry now. And taking it inside, Howard. Good move by Brian Howard. Howard and also Chucky Brown are slashing players. They are not good stationary jump shooters. Barciano missed it. Shot blocked by Shaq. Throws it in. Picked off by Branch. But uh, he was on the effort. Number 33 was out of bounds. Shackleford. There's the diamond press. They're going to trap hard on a ball, and that's the way you beat it. You post the guy to the middle of the floor. They post Livingston, kick it out to Pritchard, but Shackelford, it's rejection city. Livingston inbounds to Branch. Inside Manning, back to Branch. No, rebound. Swept off the board by Howard. Howard has really improved. Only played 18 minutes, 18 games last year, scored 18 points. Foul. John Marshall. It's like an electricity atmosphere here, Keith. This place is really rocking. You got like almost a tournament atmosphere. Old house, 12-4. Little story developed before the game. I'll tell you about it when we have time involving students. Involving and, Larry Brown. And public sale of what is normally student seats. Inside, Chucky Brown, foul. Score to basket, score to basket. Goal tending, it's called no foul. Goal tending. What a great pass by Quarciani. He distributed that ball beautifully. Great bounce pass to the inside. State pressing. Long lead pass to Archie Marshall off to Livingston corner. Pritchard. And outside Manning for three. He has range. He can be as good as he wants to be. He's the only guy that can hurt himself in quest of that player of the year award. He's got six points in the ball game. El Negro, what an improved player. He was an NBA suspect, and now he's a legitimate NBA prospect. Marshall does not get the bounce. Barciana comes out on the third bounce with the ball, and finally gets a foul on Livingston. That was a heady play by Corciani. He drew the contact from Livingston, the junior college player. You gotta like Corciani, he's a gutty kid. The big question mark is whether or not he has the speed to play at this level and the range to shoot the ball, but he's a perfect, perfect point guard. Look at that pass. That's Shackelford, he's pinned by two. El Negro back to Corciani and he takes it inside. The penetration opens it up for Howard. The ball is slapped out of there and Pritchard comes away with it. Kevin Pritchard's a gutty kid. They're going to need his range as a shooter. The quickness of Manning, and he missed the slam. I don't know the call they just made. We take a look at Danny Manning. He's a thoroughbred. He's like a secretariat. He sees a hole. He's flying to the goal. There he goes. Yeah, but he not only missed the slam, he got nailed with a foul. They got him on an offensive charge. He can play, though, Keith. I really love his ability. Shackelford wants the ball inside. The big fellow wants the ball inside, number 33. El Negro, that's a two-pointer. And State goes to the lead. Feel the ball. Howard to the corner. He can Del shoot Negro it. Is open. He can shoot it. He can flat out shoot the ball, Keith. That's why he's going to make an NBA team next year. Four-point lead for the Wolfpack, 12 to 8. Inside time out, Larry! Brown. Get a timeout, Larry! He's a little stubborn right now. He's waiting for the Wolfpack causing trouble, forcing turnovers here and hitting the baskets. It's an exciting style of play. They've only played two college games. Inside, Manning, that little short jump hook good. He's doing it all. Larry was really waiting, I think, for the next TV timeout. Well, they use those. They don't want to spend his own unless he has to. Shackelford puts an elbow into Branch, gets away with it, and hits it. He told me today, he says, Coach, you call me an all-mystery player, but I'm going to show you I'm no mystery today. 
Wolf back by six as Pritchard gets his first basket. This is an NBA game, Keith. This is an up and down tempo. They're running. Both teams are getting the ball out and transition. An exciting college game. Del Negro, no rebound. Marshall cleared to Pritchard. Marciani knocks it loose. And it's KU's ball. So the Jayhawks having a little trouble against the NC State press here in Raleigh. The big men inside, Shackelford in white, number 33. He's begging for the ball. He wants it. He's sitting down in a post. That's how you play post position. Back to the basket. Look at him. He said, please get it to me. Please get it to me. So you don't want to play behind him. Branch is playing behind him. He's trying to fight over the top now. Look at him working. Charles Shackelford is ready to play. Georgetown beating Long Beach State today. Georgetown in the top 20. Michigan rolling it up over Northern Michigan. Well, Michigan's getting ready as we look at the football score here. The Giants finally win one. Michigan's getting ready for what I call the Cupcake Classic playing Clemson. Both of them have loaded up on cupcakes, and they play each other in about three or four days. All right, Kansas with the ball, trailing by four. Kevin Pritchard moving it around. Archie Marshall in the corner, line up the same for KU. You got one change for North Carolina State. Take it into Branch. Won't go down. And the rebound by Lester. And the Wolfpack running, putting it up for the pack. That's number 21, Rodney Monroe. So that's another fresh pair of legs in the ball game. Quarciani and Del Negro stay in, so does Shackelford. Del Negro moves to the small forward position. Rodney Monroe is an explosive scorer. He's from out of Baltimore, Maryland area. He's a freshman, a highly recruited young man. Shackelford inside against Branch. Richard helping Branch on the play, so he gets it back in front. Forciani having a little trouble with a handle. Inside, the big guys got tangled up. Well, Branch trying to foul. Branch trying to deny him the ball inside, Key, trying to beat him to the spot. There's a look at Larry Brown, one of the great teachers in basketball. The real story is, will Larry Brown, as Scooter Barry's coming in a game, Chris will, Piper as well. Will this be his swan song when we look at Larry Brown with Kansas? And will he go to Charlotte in the NBA? Well, that's what they're talking about every day around here. He won't say anything about it when we're there. Shackelford handles it outside. Barry, number 10, son of Rick. At the guard spot now with Pritchard. They got to get a little better spacing and dump the ball in a shocker for They got to take advantage of the horse when he wants the play. There he is, but he can't handle it. And it's off Shackelford out of bounds. He's playing with intensity, Key. Last year, he was so up and down. On five occasions, he had 20 or more points. And about 10 other occasions, he scored less than 10. Short, rebound, Piper, enters to Marshall, and slapped out of bounds by Shackelford. Oh, he is pumped. He is fired up. Look at him. He told me today, Dick Vitale, he said, I'm going to show you that I'm not a mystery player. I'm the real thing. He is really fired up. Scooter Barry is the son of Rick Barry, who was a roommate of Larry Brown when he played in the ABA. Piper with the save. They dumped the ball inside. Manning can't get it. That'll go to Piper. He's an interesting story. He's a kid that was not even heavily recruited at all out of Lawrence, Kansas. Milt Newton started in. He's going to come, I guess, in a moment. But in there right now is number 11 for North Carolina State. That's Kelsey Weems. Kelsey is playing with an ankle brace, one of those things that's got the, uh, the swivel in it because he's had nothing but trouble with that strained ankle. He's an up-tempo player. He's got ultra quickness, plays a little bit out of control. Take it inside. Shackelford can't get it. Rebound Marshall. That's a good play, though. The Jimmy's rotating a lot of bodies. Weems now against Perry. Great defense well, right there. Gonna, if you're going to play this kind of basketball, you're going to have to use 10. Yes, well. you're going to rotate a lot of bodies. Manning gets it. I'll tell you one thing, though. They got that guy on their side. That is a genuine Rolls Royce performer. He's got 10 points. One danger in it, though, Dick. You sometimes will step back and relax and let Danny do it. And it yeah. takes five. 
and he has a tendency at times to lose a little bit of his concentration. Won't go down. Or, oh, what a play by Shackleford. Well, he's having a big game early on here. If he stays with it all the way, Kevin Pritchard saw it off and has to come back in front. Now Piper's down low, and he's, he's got the basket, but they can't get it to him. He was open for a moment. Kansas does a good job with their half-court offense. Manning? They're getting great shots out of their half-court offense. Great ball reversal. They pop Manning out. Score tied at 18 now. Manning with 12, and State comes right back. Monroe can shoot the ball. He's a big-time scorer. Ball is loose, saved. Nice play by Marshall to Pritchard, who loses control, and Sean Green picks it up. Valvano going wild on the sideline. He's jumping all up and down. Weems will get a shot and make it. Chelsea Weems and Rodney Monroe come off the bench and give an instant productivity. State back to the lead just that quickly, but Kansas comes back. My gosh, we might get both teams in the hundreds at this pace. Look at this. Look at this pace. This is an NBA pace, Keith. They did a great job finalizing and attacking the pressure. That's off the back iron by Rodney Monroe and Kansas. This is Manny Manning. He looks like magic. He looks like Magic Johnson right there. Great play by Manning. Hey, Pritchard the basket. Kids love this style of play, Keith. The up-tempo, this is the way they play when they're playing on the streets and playgrounds. But this is done with a little bit more structure and design to it. Green can't get it. Piper rebounds it for the Jayhawks. Manning for 2-0. No. And there's that Piper kid battling away. Banged and bruised. Busted fingernails. Loses that one out of bounds. But he's always there. And so at 10-11 to go in the first half, it's a good one in Raleigh between the NC State and Kansas. We're going to take a look right now at Charles Shackelford on the offensive boards. He gets inside position on Manning. Now he's on the inside. Now watch this up and under move, and he leans in along the baseline, and he lays it off the glass. Tremendous move by Shackelford. Now watch him defensively. Manning now calls for a guy to come off the screen. He lays a back screen. Now he's going to sit and post on Shackelford. He's got him at his mercy now. See, once he catches the ball down low like that, poor defensive play by Shackelford because he didn't see the ball, you man theory. Tomorrow on ABC, the final round of, at the Trial Golf and Beach Club in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Mazda champions Arnold Palmer and Colleen Walker finish the second round leading the field. A lot of money. Ho ho. 850,000 bucks. That's in your league, baby. That's not in my league. I'm in the minor <laughs> leagues when they talk those numbers. Inside the pass to Lobby Lester, and it won't go. And maybe can't come out of there with it, but it is picked up on a loose ball by Monroe. And he'll pop up a three-pointer. He can score, Keith. He scored over 3 point, 3,000 points in high school, broke every record, broke Quinton Daly's all-time record in the city of Baltimore. Marshall can't get it. And the rebound to Avi Lester. And the lead pass, and they are running and gunning. Won't go. Rebound. Fought for. And finally controlled by Lester. They're going to love this style. The fans at North Carolina State are going to love this style. Monroe can't get the three-pointer, and it's still in Steve State's ball, and Monroe is rejected in foul. He doesn't play like a freshman. He's not bashful at all, Rodney Monroe. That's the second personal foul on Branch. You're looking at two outstanding coaches on the sideline. Jimmy Valvano has a lot of shtick and pizzazz, but behind all that shtick and pizzazz, he's a sharp guy when it comes to the X's and O's and the technical aspects of coaching on the sideline. Kansas is now at six team fouls, and we've got 9-17 to go in the first half. This kid scored 3,047 points in high school. That's an unbelievable number. He broke Quinton Daly's record, who played at the University of San Francisco. Now take a, second. take a look at the pressure now. One, two, one, one, trap after the ball's entered. Now center it. Yeah, lucky that's didn't where you want to go. There. But State gets the ball under the basket, and they break it down the court in a hurry to Del Negro. That's short. 
Rebound, Piper, Kansas. I like, I like Piper. He's my kind of player, and I know he's your kind of athlete. A tough, hard-nosed, tenacious young man. That's Lincoln Miner handling it out in front now for Kansas. Otis Livingston, the other guard. With Marshall, Manning, and Piper, the big people, working inside. Miner's open. Won't go. Tipped up once. Won't go. And cleaned out of there by Monroe to Corchiani. Watch this pass. He's fouled by Livingston. He really was looking to make the pass with a guy cutting in a 45-degree angle. You talk about numbers coming out of high school. corciani has got great numbers. Here he is. Doesn't have great speed, but has good awareness and transition. Good change of direction dribble. Now he's going up. He was really looking for a guy trailing on the opposite side. Seventh team foul on Kansas at uh, nine. Can't read the scoreboard. It's so bright. And like 8:35 uh, to play in the first half. Hey Keith, Rodney Monroe has 3,047 points in high school. Corciani had 3,435 points and over 1,400 assists. It was Mr. Basketball in Florida over Livingston Chapman, who today is probably the best power forward of the freshman he class in the nation. Rattled the rim with both the free throws. Got them where they had to go, and it's Livingston backing it up now. Sets the play. It's so noisy in here, we barely can hear each other and we can't read the scoreboard. Foul on Lester, Avi Lester whistled inside. Well, they're rotating guys like Lester on the floor just to give him some defense, some physical ability. Watch him inside, he's gonna beat up on Danny Manning. Manning's used to this, they're gonna isolate Manning, they send Livingston through. Now they're trying to isolate him, look, he's mugging him. I mean, that's a New York Times Square mugging right there. Scooterberry inbounds it for Kansas, tries to take it inside. And it's slapped away by the World Cup. Carolina State constantly changing defenses. Right now they're zoning in a 2-3 setup. I'm sure we're going to see a box and one before a long key. Lester out, Shackelford back in for the World Cup. Outside. Now they're in a zone, 2-3 zone. Livingston's uh, got a dragon shoelace. Watch out for it. They're trying to get a gap or seam into Manning. Del Negro got a piece of it, but Piper pulled it in. And it slapped out of bounds as he tried to give it to Archie Marshall. Well, you know, Kansas was rated by some people preseason in the top five in America. And then they were beaten by Iowa. And they were also beaten by Illinois. But Larry Brown's team is going to get better and better as the season progresses. 7.59 to go in the first half. And the Wolfpack right now leading by seven. Reynolds Field House, North Carolina State University in Raleigh. Jayhawks in the blue. There's Archie Marshall with an up and under move, but here comes Shackelford. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane. Number 33 is really playing. Oh, there's my mystery players. Guys who are a little AWOL, they disappear in action. Shackelford, Jones, Hamilton, Gore, and Madison. Kids with great talent, tremendous ability, but for some reason, they disappear at key times in the game. Kansas ball, Barry will inbound it and come out front to Marshall. Manning, Piper, stay there. Barry having come into the ball game, replacing uh, Livingston. That's slapped out of bounds by North Carolina State. They got to get some scoring out of Lincoln Minor. They moved them over. They tried him as a point guard. That didn't work. He's going out right now. And they're bringing Pritchard. But he's going to have to develop if they're going to be able to be a real threat to Oklahoma and Missouri. And don't forget Iowa State and Jeff Grayer. They got an outstanding team. He's out of Houston, the uh, Midland Junior College. Minor is. Inside Manning, that little jump hook won't go down. A rebound in the road to Corciani. And the Wolfpack trying to run it. Del Negro to the corner. That's his buddy, a little pasta connection, Corciani and Del Negro. Oh, he carried that ball, Keith. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he carried that ball. Shackelford inside, being worked on by Piper right now. See, they're playing three guards. Monroe, Del Negro at 6'5", is playing a small forward position. That's a long one by Monroe, and it's off the front iron. He shot that one about 23 feet. 
Richard feeds it off and Barry gets it. Well, his father would be proud of him. Scooter gets the maximum out of his talent. Good execution by Pritchard and Barry. Del Negro had the shot, airballed it, took it right over the rim, and KU on the run with Marshall to Manning. No, rebound. Slapped out of bounds as Scooter Barry went in there among the trees and got stuck. Marshall had a good look inside to Manning, but good defensive ability and anticipation by North Carolina State. There's Marshall throwing the ball up on top to Manning. And there's the deflection. And now watch right here. There goes Scooter. Don Negro's looking at him and saying, what's happening? Artis Barry and Pritchard outside now for Kansas. Barry's played some solid basketball for him because they're searching for a point guard. Milt Newton handling it right now, number 21. Corciana kicked it. Okay, you will keep it. That Big 8 conference is getting better and better, Keith. Basketball is starting to get a little deeper in terms of the teams. It's just not pigskin anymore. Oklahoma and Nebraska. Well, Oklahoma's running and gunning. Nebraska uh, looks like they might be tough this year. Of course, a lot of folks thought Missouri might win it all out there. Billy, Tub Billy Tubbs' team's playing a lot better defense this year, and they got a great backcourt. Grace and Mookie Blaylock. Piper inside. He makes all the big plays. He's a kid. When I say big plays, they don't count on him. He's a complimentary player, but he very rarely makes a mistake. Sean Green in the ball game now for North Carolina State. Shackleford throws it up and in. He's got ability, Keith. He can be as good as he wants to be. He's got to get that work ethic and that desire to want to be a player. 31, 26. Wolfpack lead it. Running it. Nothing flashy, nothing spectacular, but a solid, pure point guard. Seven point lead. Jim Valvano says this is the future of the game. That's why I'm going to it. And I'm committed for a decade unless they change the rule. There's the trap. Now you got to post somebody to the middle. They're looking for the middle guy. There he is. Good execution. Larry Brown's a heck of a teacher. Kansas with eight turnovers in the ball game. Against the pressure, you want to get someone posting, you want a diagonal man, and you want a reverse man. Pritchard loses the ball. Del Negro on the run with it. Takes it in for the shot. He's really improved, Keith. This kid came on and was the MVP last year of the ACC tournament. He's got eight points in the ball game, and it's a nine-point Wolfpack lead, the biggest of the ball game, and a foul on Corciani. Valvano trying to work the officials right there. He's the AD. He's the coach. Second personal foul on uh, Corciani. Corciani can play big-time basketball. There's no doubt in his system and his style of play, he's going to be a real factor for Jimmy Valvano's team. All right, into the ball game now. Young man who just joined the team came over from the football team, Clint Normore. He played basketball at Wichita State, football at Kansas, and now is uh, on the basketball squad, and he's a good, tough player. Manning totals as he makes that basket 14 points. Well, they did a poor job in post defense on the baseline, allowing Manning to get the inside position as we look at the points off the turnovers. So you've got to force the guy to help. You can't allow him to get inside position and get the baseline like Manning did. No more. Newton. Newton puts it up out of the corner. No. Inside. Rebound by Lincoln Miner. Lincoln Miner with good legs. Sneaks inside. Gets the conversion off the offensive rebound. Kelsey Weems in for State now. Gets in trouble on a... A trap on the sideline. Escapes it. Goes Slapping. down. Pass ahead to Normore, and he's got a basket. He gets his first basket. I was teasing him. I said, you play football? I didn't know they played football in Kansas. Did they play football? Second leading tackler. Did they tackle anybody all year? Second leading tackler on a football team. But did he tackle anybody? <laughs> anybody except uh, Oklahoma and Nebraska. Boy, Del Negro, what a touch he's got. He's got a velvet touch. Good rotation. Five-point lead now. Kansas made a run to get back in it. Close to three. Now back to five. And the ball is slapped out of bounds. And Kelsey Weems wanted to call the other way, but didn't get it. Time remaining. Three, 20. 
five in the first half. And the Wolfpack leading the Jayhawks by five. Look at Manning down inside, number 25. They dump it inside. Poor job by Shackelford. He allows him to get inside post position. And Manning is so quick. He's going to be a nightmare for some of the small forwards to try and check him when he gets into the NBA. Or uh, he might have a, you don't just go waltzing into the NBA, though. No, there are some the, folks around there that can knock your head off. They'll let some, lay some bodies <laughs> on him. You know, Larry Brown's two moves. Leaving UCLA was the worst move of his coaching career, number one. No, he I don't was, agree. I agree. I, I disagree I with you, agree. Keith. I'll tell you why. He could have been the force that could have, I really believe, got UCLA into prominence. Con he said he didn't feel like he belonged. He wasn't happy, and you're not going to do good work if you're not happy. Okay, now he told me yesterday, he said, Dick, I agreed with you. He said, I'm going to have to disagree with you. He said, it was the worst mistake of my coaching career leaving here. But I know the best move that you can't argue about, the best move was hiring Ed Manning. Well, Ed Manning is going to be a head coach one of these days. He's a good guy, really a solid guy. Getting Ed, bringing his son over, Danny. Certainly Danny, as we look at Ed Manning, he played with Larry Brown. He's a fine player in the ABA. As Larry, he can really dress too. He's teasing me. He said, Dick, you didn't pick me on your, my all, your all GQ team, but I don't want to be with the guys you pick. He's in another league as a dresser. This style of play is going to drive Valvano a little bit crazy, too. With the up-tempo, you're going to have a lot of turnovers, but it's going to create excitement. And what it's going to do is eliminate the team that's inferior from staying in the game with you. No more handling the ball out on the point now for Kansas. And Jeff Gilner in the lineup now for the Jayhawks, number 33. Rangy Gel youngster. He's a good shooter now. They have to respect him on a wing. Gelner can shoot the ball. Out of Charleston, Illinois. Pritchard been pretty quiet so far in the ball game. Pumps one up and gets it. He hurts you. I can't believe that he hasn't converted yet this year a three-point shot. He was a good shooter last year. This year he's not hitting. He's over five from three-point range. He will. Yeah, he's got two. He's got the great rhythm and the touch. Del Negro and Carciani going the distance pretty much. Uh, Weems came in briefly to spell them, but they've been in there most of the time. It's amazing, Corciani coming off the mononucleosis. Chucky Brown goes up over the top, but Piper beats him to the basketball, and Chris controls it for Kansas. Kansas is trying to slow the tempo now. He's trying to control tempo here. Larry Brown. Both teams with their three timeouts remaining. It's two minutes and 15 seconds to play in the first half. The zone automatically slows the game up, Keith. So by falling into a 2-3 zone, uh, what a you get burned by this, but he didn't make it. He lost it in between the iron Watch the and the backboard. There he and is. no whistle as Gomore tried to beg the foul, and uh, Green gets it back. Sean pumps it, can't get it. And a whistle inside as the big guys bang. Sean Green was a slam dunk artist. We watched Danny Manning inside. He's got eye contact right now. He's got Chucky Brown, knows the ball's coming up. There's good eye contact. But a good defensive play to get some ball right there by, looks like coming over was, I lost who came over. I know it wasn't Brown, 52. North Carolina State now, foul on Green. Five team fouls on them. Small handles the ball up in front court. Manning inside against Chucky Brown. Piper tries to, Piper had the shot, but he gave it to Manning and they lose the ball. And Shackelford got it. Shackelford looked at Manning. He said, if you can go coast to coast, I can too. Change of direction by Shackelford. Where are they hustling and scrapping with this defense? These kids love this style of play. Five-point lead for the Wolfpack. Kansas ball. Coming back in, Otis Livingston replacing Normore. I cannot see the scoreboard or the time. The sun shining right on it. There's some light glare on it. It doesn't show up in the daytime. Gellner pumps it inside to Manning. Good pass by Gellner. Well, excellent pass, but excellent execution. They worked on that yesterday. Getting the good 45-degree angle down inside to Manning. 
Three-point lead for the Wolfpack. Inside to Chucky Brown. Tip Shackleford. No. Rebound. Out of bounds. And State will keep it. Here comes Shackleford over now defensively. And there's the ball on the ground. They give some good help. Here goes Shackleford. Now watch him like a little guard. He's going to play like the magic man. He's going to change direction. Oh, what a great change of direction. Kisses it off the glass. Corciani hustles back into the ball game for North Carolina State. It's amazing. They told us Tuesday, I was speaking to Jimmy on the phone, he thought Corciani would be gone for two months as he had mononucleosis and was in a hospital for five days. Rich handling, uh, Chris handling the ball out. Quentin Jackson was in for just a moment. And then quickly back out. So it's Corciani and uh, Del Negro out in front. And they're going to work it around a little bit now and use up some of the clock. And just making a run at him, trying to close down. They trailed by as much as nine and closed it now to three. Remember, the two shooters are Monroe and Del Negro. They both can shoot the ball on the wings. Rodney Monroe comes out to help. Chucky Brown and Charles Shackerford are the inside people. Shackerford has a big edge over Piper inside. Monroe's going to get the shot. Porciani pumps it up. Missed it. Rebound, Chucky Brown. Chucky Brown with a great offensive play. Corciani got hurt himself. Play. He's hurt himself. It looks like a strained ankle or a knee. As he tried to come back around in traffic, he went down very, very hard. And it's an ankle. Yeah, he's grabbing that ankle, Keith. So the medical men are out to have a look at him as the first half comes to a close. North Carolina State hanging on to a lead. Well, he forces this play right here. Now he's going to drive across the lane. That's the half. Wolfpack 41. Kansas 36. Here's the offensive rebound by Chucky Brown. Nobody bodied up on him. Nobody laid up. All right, another look at it. Here's Corciani. This is when he sprained his ankle. I'm not a doctor. I shouldn't say sprained. I really don't know, but he seems to be... Walking off a little better. They're helping him a little bit. He's putting some pressure on it. I don't know the extent of that injury. I should assume it's a sprained ankle. 41-36 at halftime. North Carolina State has the lead. For Kansas, the big gun as expected, Manning. Richard uh, with six. You see nobody's in any particular foul trouble. Piper leads the rebounders with six for Kansas. North Carolina State scoring is a little more spread out. Well, they have a lot more balance. I'm really disappointed in Archie Marshall not scoring. I thought he would give them more point productivity. He had a severe knee injury. He was reconstructed knee surgery. As we look at Corciani, it looks like the ankle's okay, and he will play. Yeah, he took a couple of jump shots, and he winced when he first came out. But I guess maybe the more he works with it, it'll wear off a little bit. You know, Keith, looking at Kansas, they have the makings of an outstanding team, especially with a Manning who can carry you to the promised land. However, I don't believe you can win a national championship without solid guard play. And unless they can develop those backcourt performers and Livingston and Minor and Pritchard certainly is a solid player, I think they'll have a tough time, especially winning the Big Eight, which is so tough, and winning a national title in Danny's uh, swan song as a collegiate. I'm not so sure about the board play either. Yet. Well, they got to rebound a little better also. They've been a little soft on the glass. In fact, Manning, I think his numbers should be a lot better as a rebounder. He's rebounding about seven per game. And with his kind of skill and ability, he should be in double figures every night rebounding. He has won so far in this ball game. Enough said. <laughs> You make it so easy. I got to use 5,000 words, and you wrap it up in one or two. That's not fair, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> but I'm a talker, and I'll always be a talker. I guess I got a big mouth. All right, Otis Livingston, Kevin Pritchard, Archie Marshall, Danny Manning, and Marvin Branch, the starting unit for Kansas. 2-3 zone immediately by Valvano. Orciani's in there in the guard position. You want to get into the Want to get into the gaps and seams. Look for Pritchard for the shot. Oh, they had it. Go inside to Branch, and it is knocked away. 
Too unselfish right there by Pritchard. He's got to shoot that ball on a wing, Keith. Yeah, he's got to score some out there. Take some of the heat off the big guys inside. Well, it opens up passing angles, too. If he yep. hits the open jumper, he's got to like shoot that. it. That won't go. Chucky Brown. Oh, they missed Quarciani. Yeah, he broken loose. You at least. Manning is checking Brown as Kansas plays man defense. Richard on Del Negro. They're going to slide Shackleford. They have him. Oh, Over Branch, and Marvin got a piece of it. And he pulls it down, and here come the Jayhawks. Marshall had a shot and didn't take it. Now he pumps it up, and he won't go. And the rebound is to Del Negro. That's Chucky Brown. Chucky's become a scorer. Last year in the ACC tournament, he was outstanding. He made the all-tournament team. He's an excellent 12-14 foot shooter. Floppy ball handling by Kansas. And the Wolf Pack. Oh, what, what a Del play. Negro. What a play by the pasta connection. Quarciani to Del Negro. Livingston brought it down and really didn't have, he was out of control and he couldn't affect the a pass and they kicked it out of bounds. Livingston gives this away to Pritchard. Now they're trying to calm him down a little bit. Take it inside. And a foul on Shackleford. Well, that was a good decision right there to go inside to Manning. They need a big basket. They need something. Now look at Corciani. Watch this little guy pass the ball. He'll look one way and pass the other. There it is. Oh, an excellent play. One Points off turnovers, Dick. 14 now for the Wolfpack and only four for Kansas. And Larry Brown is really hot about the play of his guards right now. They dump it down inside to Manning. Now here's the rotation. They grab his arm. Yeah, Larry Brown is certainly disappointed with his guard play. You know, Kansas is playing as we look at Larry Brown without Keith Harris. Last year, he had a big game against North Carolina State, but he's home. He's in Lawrence, Kansas now because he doesn't realize how important it is to do the job and be responsible. It's about time you grow up, Keith Harris. If you're listening, you've got to go to class and you've got to wake up on time. You're only sleeping your life away. Into the ball game for the Jayhawks at the guard positions. You have Scooterberry and Lincoln Minor now with Pritchard and Livingston sitting down. Some kids totally amaze me, Keith, with immaturity. And that's all Harris's case is. Total immaturity and irresponsibility. Bone rings at both ends. Archie Marshall won't go. Rebound, Benny Del Negro. What confidence Del Negro's playing with. He knows he's a key player now. Shackleford a little bit too deep on the baseline. He's not a good passer, Shackleford. Usually he takes it to score when it goes inside. Can't get it. And Marvin Branch has it. Barry moves it. Scooter Barry getting a lot of PT, playing time. Left out of bounds by Charles Shackelford. Lowry is furious. He doesn't like the rhythm and the execution out of the half-court game. Maybe Lester comes in. Lester is a sophomore, 6'9", 217, out of Roxborough, North Carolina. They're producing some outstanding basketball players here in this area now. Have over the last uh, 10, 12 years. I mean, really outstanding young people. Marshall's, you Michael Jordan. <laughs> Marshall's got to shoot the ball too. Inside Manning. Nice pass by Brand. Good excellent ball movement. Excellent high low execution to the high post and then down to the low post. Manning now with 19 points in the ball game. 45 39. Ryan Howard, number 22. Back in the ball game, Del Negro has the ball checked from behind by Manning. Branch to Miner, broken up by Howard, but Manning gets it, forces it, no foul. They had an easy to hit the floor. They had an easy layup right there, but Miner couldn't convert and make the play. Whistle, no basket. Came before Del Negro made the shot. They're asking the one player to carry him. He's got to find some solid guard play. As you look at Jimmy Valvano on the sideline, an intense motivator. When you look at Kansas' backcourt play, they're not able to make the play when it's three on two, two on one. You can't ask Danny Merriman to carry the whole team on his back. 
Scudaberry leaves Livingston back, Pritchard back as Miner goes out. That happened because of the rotation with the help, as you can see there, created the opportunity for Mr. Manning. Branch out, Piper back, State's ball, Lester. In relief of Shackelford right now. That'll put uh, Chucky Brown uh, inside much of the time. And this is Lester. And he's mugged. Not a good offensive player, though, Keith. He's very limited in his offensive skills. He's a physical player. It gives him a few minutes in terms of rebounding ability, but not a scorer. Foul on Piper inside. Nobody with three fouls as yet. They're letting them play as Del Negro puts it right up in Pritchard's face and hits it. Looked a little bit like the release of the kid from Cabin Creek, West Virginia, Jerry West. Marcho got it. Foul. Now that was an excellent pass. Fundamentally solid, a good bounce pass. He pulled up at the foul line the way you're supposed to do. An excellent play in transition. Now watch Livingston right here. He stops at the foul line. He throws the bounce pass to the cutter who goes on a 45 degree angle. There's the foul by Corciani and the conversion by Archie Marshall. And uh, Chris is the first to get three personal fouls in the ball game. One thing they'll be tough to beat at home where they sing that chant, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. What is it, 52 in a row? 52 in a row, yep. 52 in a row at home. Three-point play for Marshall. That tightens things up considerably. Five points, 47-42. Porciani taking off a strained ankle, and you got a whistle and a foul on Livingston. Well, he's over-dribbling right there, Keith. He's really playing with the ball a little bit too much, Corciani. He's got to get a little bit more ball reversal. We watch him right here now. Watch Del Negro now. Watch him turn square. Look at the elbows. Looks just like Jerry West used to shoot it. I don't want the kid to get carried away because he's not one, one iota of Jerry West. I mean, that's a Hall of Famer. Livingston is the first Jayhawk to get three personal fouls. That one was a little bit shaky. We've got a timeout. There's a look at Shackelford now. Watch him coming up the court. He gets tripped by Danny Manning accidentally. Danny doesn't do it deliberately. Right there he trips. And it looks like he injures his ankle it was the reason that he went out of the game. There he is sitting on the sideline. Shaq's got eight points, five rebounds, and two block shots today, so he's having a big ball game. Barry is back in the ball game for Kansas. North Carolina State handling it. Corciani Del Negro have been at guard most of the day. Pass almost, but it's slapped out of there. And Barry brings it back as the Jayhawks run it. And Marshall hits it. He's a key player. They have to get some points out of Marshall. We talked about that earlier. One of our keys to victory that they have to get some point production out of Pritchard and Marshall to help Manning go. Once again, it's a three-point ball game. Biggest lead for North Carolina State, and they have led all the way. Biggest lead has been nine points. Kansas has twice pulled now within three. Three times uh, they pulled within three points. In all fairness to the young guards coming out of junior college, young in terms of experience on a major college level in Livingston and Minor, Larry Brown runs a very structured system, it's good, good movement, and it's a tough adjustment for kids coming out. They're going to get better and better in late January and February. Ryan Howard beats Lester, rims it, Manning rebounds it. Barry is running it. Piper in front, into the corner, intended for Marshall, picked up by Pritchard on the deflection from Howard. Barry's like a coach on the floor. You don't see too many mistakes out of Scooter Barry. He's limited in his skills, but he's such a heady player. Not a bad move by Danny, but he can't get it to drop. And it's off NC State, so the Jayhawks will keep it. You're not as high in Kansas as I am. I know that, Keith. I think if they get a guard to really develop, they can really be a factor and get a healthy hyper. I just believe when you get down into crunch time, you've got to have big, strong people hitting the boards. Well, I, I might have to agree with you on that. And you're bigger than me, and you got more stature, so I'm not <laughs> going to fight you. You're too tough for me. <laughs> Lineup changes for North Carolina State. Shackelford comes back in. Man-to-man -man defense, they rotate into a man-to-man. -man. Score the basket. They call the foul. Oh, they, no foul. They can't play Manning. Jack man got man. a piece of it. Yeah, yeah. they did. That's what they're talking about. The interview. Now watch him come to the ball. There's the back screen. Oh, what a great screen by Piper to get him free. Once he catches the ball inside on a box like that, there's Shackelford with the interference. Didn't matter. He converted. Howard. 
Out of bounds. He Off Kansas. He turns the ball over a lot. Shackelford is not a good pa passer inside. When he's catching the ball, three and four people are attacking him. He's got to find the open man. One point ball game now from North Carolina State. The closest Kansas has been since early on. Inside Brown. And foul Piper. That's an explosive move by Chucky Brown. CB explodes to the Raptors. He says, Shaq, if you can't take it to the rack, I'm going to take it. Watch Chucky Brown right now. Number 52 with the bounce. There he goes. Up, up, and away. Ball to foul on Piper. I don't see it. I didn't see the foul either. Now watch this right here. Here he goes. He explodes. Takes it up strong. Takes it up strong. Oh, there's no foul. Yeah. No foul at all. If anything, you might have been able to call a technical but grab in the rim. But Brown's at the line with a chance for three. Short. And didn't look good Piper there. Nope. See, if you call a foul, a player's fouled in the act of shooting, he can grab the rim. That's the only time he can grab the rim to protect himself. 49, 46. Marshall's got to shoot the open jump shot, number 23. Ian Pritchard got to help Manning out scoring. Oh, a nice curl move for Pritchard. Got it. Oh, what execution, Keith. That's called the curl move where he comes off the post, curls out, and Pritchard shoots the open shot. One point lead for North Carolina State. Brown having trouble controlling it. And finally, it's controlled by Monroe. That's a five second. Oh, they nail him with a foul. Oh. Gonna have the five second violation. Go either way, it? I'll tell you one thing, his daddy would be screaming about that. Look at him right now, come off the screen. Look at Pritchard. He runs him right into the screen. He educates the freshman Monroe. Excellent job by Pritchard to get free without the ball, like Steve Alford did when he played for Indiana. Rodney Monroe playing a guard position now. Or loses the ball inside, picked up, however, by Brian Howard, and he's called for traveling. Look at Valvano screaming and yelling. He's got to be careful for a tee. Hey, Rick Barry would be proud of his son. I mean, this kid is given everything he has. Look at Valvano right now. They can't understand him. He's talking at New York, Casey Stendhalis. Yeah, but he's preparing himself for the business world. Good, he's is. Good student. He's an entrepreneur. Outstanding student. Basketball in the triangle with Chapel Hill, Durham, North Carolina, with Cameron Indoor Stadium, and here at Raleigh is so exciting. It's like a religion. It's a way of life. Barry up court, Corciani losing a little mobility because of a sore ankle, but still hanging with him. They ran that curl move again. He, he walked travel. Richard sliding, lost his grip. They play on the tartan floor here. It's a little slicker. It's like the, the three big eight referees walked out here, and the first yeah. thing they said was, it slipped. It's the only part and floor in the ACC. It's really tough on your knees, too. 14th Kansas turnover. Inside, Brown. Got a roll. See, Brown gets the basket, but what a pass by Porciani. He reads the defense. There's the trap. Throw right over the top. Excellent execution by Porciani. Manning answer. Multi-dimensional. He can do it all. He's flat out a thoroughbred, the best player in the United States of America. 51-50, NC State. El Negro. Shackleford. Reflected. Manning. Crowd wanting a call. Don't get it. State keeps it. Monroe to Corciani. Got it. That's the wrap on him that he can't shoot the jump shot, but he comes up with a big three-point shot. Back to a four-point lead for the Wolfpack. Three, four, go down underneath, including one of the officials, and Manning went crashing hard to the floor. I mean, bodies were flying. They're playing with a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion here, Keith. I promise Jimmy Valvano, as we watch him, Marshall throw the ball across the defense. There's the contact. The yeah, way Danny Manning laid on the floor, a lot of heart stopped for a moment in Lawrence, Kansas. But you know, three points for Danny in this Oh, game. they bump him for, oh! Monroe gets the foul, and Pritchard had him about 
five feet in the air. The first thing you learn defensively, you don't go with the fake. As you look at the intense, the thinker, the Aristotle. On the other end, we got the Don Rickles of coaching. I'll let you decide right there, Mr. Valvano. What a coach he is on that sideline in a big, big game. He laid that head fake on him, and he got him up in the air, and he let him leave something on the floor. Four at the foul line so far this year, but he's too good a player. Everything will get better for Richard as time goes along. Yeah, he last year, he's already missed more free throws already this year than he missed all of last year. Look good there. Yep. Two point game. 54 52. Piper on Brown. Inside. Shackleford to Del Negro. Won't go. Rebound. Cleared out of there in a hurry by Livingston. To Marshall to Livingston. And they want a traveling call and don't get it. See, that wasn't a good decision by Livingston. Giving the ball up 25 feet from the basket to Marshall. They run that little curl move. There it is. Marshall's got one, but can't hit it. And State has the rebound. North Carolina State's not defending the little curl move. Monroe won't go. Shot selection, not a good shot by no. Rodney Monroe. Hurry. See, right now, Larry Brown's taking charge on that sideline. The pass was a little too soft. If he'd whistled it in there, Manning would have handled it. But it was too much of a lob, and it went out of bounds. At 11-21 to play in the game. Take a look at Larry Brown. We've seen Larry Brown right there. He played for Frank McGuire, and he played for Dean Smith. Hey, by the way, we want to send our best wishes to Frank and his lovely wife. I'm so happy that they were not injured in that fire down there. And I know, Keith, you mentioned something about memorabilia. Yeah, here goes the little jump shot. Now they're going to reverse the ball. It goes up. There's the block. They swing it back out. Del Negro with a good offensive rebound. He swings it to Monroe. They throw it over the top to the defense. And here's Corciani with that little one-hander. Not a jump shot, but he gets the three-point shot. Well, Frank McGuire, of course, who was one of those that helped create this... Uh, Tobacco Road basketball, if you will. What a classy guy, too. Uh, the house burned down in South Carolina, and all of his memorabilia was burned up. And they uh, formed a committee that's trying to find people who have memorabilia applying to Frank's brilliant career so they can perhaps get donation or copies of it, at least. Porciano brings it up court now for North Carolina State. Oh, uh, what a pass that was. Won't go down. I can't emphasize enough the passing angles that Corciani utilizes. Good move by Livingston. Manning short. Rebound Marshall. The tie it does. There's a key player right there. Archie Marshall has arrived here in the second half. Kansas finally catches him with 10 minutes and 47 seconds to play in the game. Ball is stolen. Just taken right away from Corciani by Livingston to Pritchard. No. And the fight for the rebound goes to Chucky Brown. Not a good play by Corciani. He over-penetrated. They stole the ball. Good defensive awareness by Livingston. Number 12 right now. He's taking the challenge of trying to stop the penetration. That won't go from Ryan Howard. Howard chases the loose ball. And it is slapped out of bounds off of Kansas man. That's one of the deficient areas for North Carolina State, shooting the wing jump shot. They missed Benny Bolton, who graduated. Well, I think this young man right here, Monroe, is going to pick up part of that problem, don't they? Yeah, he'll be the big scorer, but they have to play small if they play Monroe and Del Negro together. He took an extra step there and got away with it. Yeah, he did walk right there. We're going to challenge defensively Livingston. Lob inside doesn't work, but Chucky Brown saves it for the Wolfpack. This game goes down to the wire the last three minutes. Danny Manning's got to prove he's the Rolls Royster and take it over. Marciani misses the shot. He is fouled. Sean Green, number 23, is in there right now for North Carolina State. 
Valvano just loves them. I tell you, it sounds like they got an Italian construction company with Del Negro, Corciani, D'Amico, and Valvano. Livingston got his fourth personal foul right there, and Otis has got to come out of the ball game. I really think when Kansas, if they get back Keith Harris, and I hope I wasn't too tough on a young man, I'm just hoping that he matures and can contribute and get on with his life in a positive way. But if they get him as an active player, he can help this team a great, great deal. Larry's always coaching. Every moment of practice, every moment on the sideline, he's a born coach. Lincoln Miner getting ready to come in for the Jayhawks. Corciani now, eight Lincoln points, three out of three at the foul line. I hope he doesn't go to the pros, Keith. I hope he stays in college. He really, his personality belongs here. I don't think he could sit through a 23 and 59 year and an expansion team in Charlotte. I think it would eat him up alive. Marciani unties the ball game, gives the edge by two back to North Carolina State. Low back in the full court pressure. Oh, what a Marshall. clinic. What a clinic in attacking the press. Bring it into the sideline, to the middle, and then reverse it into the cutter. A clinic designed by the master himself, Larry Brown. State needs a big basket. They're not getting any ball movement. He's got to get Monroe, I think, out of the game, Keith. He's a little frustrated right now. Well, he's Del also Negro. got a season, too, though. They've only played two college games. Exactly, and they played really Cupcake City. They played Vermont and Tampa. Bad pass there. KU comes up with it. Marshall is fouled on the drive by Corciani. He's spoken about the call. Marshall has scored nine points in this half and is the primary reason why Kansas caught him a moment ago. He's got to get Del Negro on the floor for some experience. Speaking about the young man, he sprints in. Here he comes, Del Negro coming on the floor. Quentin Jackson uh, came in with him, but uh, I don't know whether Corciani is going to stay. Jackson goes back. Corciani is going out along with Sean Green. You know, I mentioned cupcakes. I said Tampa last year. Tampa beat. They beat North Carolina State. Jimmy Balvano didn't coach that game. He was out ill. All right, Marshall. He's had a big second half, Keith. He was injured in the semifinals against Duke over in Dallas, Texas. And then he had a reconstructed knee, sat out all of last year. And the young man is gutting it out. The knee still isn't 100%. It's the first time they've taken the lead right now, Keith. All right, Jackson handles the ball to Lester. Chucky Brown inside. See, Jackson's a tempo player. He doesn't have good quickness. Won't go. Oh, tip in. He gets the bounce. State back to the lead. Intercepted. Jackson cut off. Monroe. They break down against the press. I would call a timeout now, but Lowry's going to sit there and let them adjust on their own. It's so 60, much. 57. And a foul. Quentin Jackson. He reached across the arms to slap the ball loose. And really, uh, that kind of a move doesn't matter whether you make contact or not. You're going to get this. Tackleford is coming back. For NC State, Lester's going to leave. No, Brown's going to leave for a brief. Well, I hope you can see the scoreboard, Keith, because I cannot. Well, it's 60 57. 8.35 left. Number 33 is Jeff Gilner. That ball is checked by Monroe, but it spins right away, and Kansas profits from it. Pulls yep. again from Gelder three down to one down as Gilner hit it. Gelner had some big moments last year coming off the bench for Kansas. That won't drop. And Miner. Oh, there's a foul right there. Kicks it out of bounds. They missed a foul right there. Monroe definitely bodied up on Miner. Miner can't get a break. They're trying to calm the young man down. He's been Larry's whipping boy. Larry's been all over him in practice, 
only because he really believes he can contribute to this team. Manning doesn't get a very long breather. Danny out for a moment as Piper goes out now, and Manning comes right back. Well, they need him down to stretch time. We've got Branch in the middle, Gellner, Pritchard, and out front, Scooter Barry. Those are the five people on the floor for Kent. This is Lester. Yes, so. Shackleford got it in. Well, Lester said that was a pass. That wasn't a shot. Shackleford has 10 points now. Barry ahead to Gellner. See, they run the ball up the sideline and then try to get it to the middle of the floor. Right now, they're going to try to post Manning. Lester, Lester really battling him, but oh. Manning disguises and drops it through. Greatest show on earth. What a balancing act right there. They try to front him, and they throw the ball over the top of the defense. That's a reject by Manning. I thought the foul was by Branch early on, but no call. This is Manning coming all the way to the baseline with it. Can't get it. And Kansas will keep the ball. Manny Manning can do every facet of the game of basketball. He can pass the ball, he can rebound, he can block shots, he can score. Timeout on the floor, one point ball game. We'll be back after this commercial and a word from your local station. The coaching goes on on the Kansas sideline as Larry Brown talks. Other end of the court, Jim Valvano just as busy. We take a look right now, Keith, and Danny Manning with a great defensive play. Shackelford's got Branch where he wants him, but here comes Manning rotating over, number 25 with a good angle and a great block. He takes, gets a piece of it. What a day he's had so far. He's just got to rebound more. I agree with you. He's got to be a little bit more assertive rebounding. He's got to get more than three rebounds with his rebounding ability. 62-61, Wolfpack leads. Reason Kansas is caught up, been able to take the lead one time. Marshall has 10 points in the second half. Shackelford only two for North Carolina State. Jayhawks have the ball, adding with 25 points. Oh, they Rocky got away with foul. one here. We got star treatment on that play, Keith. That happens in the NBA a lot of Magic Johnson against a rookie. Right here, Del Negro on his own living room floor gets ball for the block. Oh, no, no he's facing Lester. Lester. I'm sorry. Here's Lester. Avi Lester. Hey, he's in good defensive position. Manning just runs him down. Should have been an offensive foul, but Lester doesn't have the reputation. Both teams now with six team fouls. Gelder stays in. Out in front with Pritchard. They got three guards in there right now. Oh, they should get it right to Manning. He's got it, and he missed it. And the rebound, Gelder stole one. Gelder and Piper are role players. They're utility men. They can play anywhere you want them to play, and they help your club. Branch is fouled by Kelsey Weems. It's Weems and Jackson now at the guards for North Carolina State with Shackleford, Monroe, and Lester. Remember, Kansas is not a good free throw shooting team. After eight games, they're shooting 62.7 as a team. And you're not going to win a lot of close games if you don't convert on a free throw line. We started to tell you about the little problem that we had early on today. You know, school is out for the holidays here at North Carolina State. Normally, the students sit over there in these lower sections across from us and behind us. Well, those not knowing uh, how many people were, how many students would show up today, they had the allotment and sold those seats. But before the game today, the students moved in, occupied the seats at the suggestion of Larry Brown, yeah. visiting coach, and they didn't move them. They're still there. Larry said to Jimmy Valvano, he's out trying to quiet everybody down. I was with the two of them. He told the kids, he said, you take the seats. They took them and they did. Well, I think uh, is any, that's Monroe putting it up. Uh, he's going to be a good one. He wanted Valvano to be distracted. <laughs> with a problem as the athletic director. That goes with the territory. Well, he delegated the responsibility to Frank Whedon, but what a big basket by Monroe. Inside deflected by Monroe, out of bounds. No, it's Kansas ball. It's Kansas ball, yes. I like the guts of Monroe. He's missed three, four, five shots, and he's not afraid to shoot the ball. Weems goes out. Del Negro is back in. 
And it's Marshall and Piper coming back, replacing uh, Branch and Gellner for Kansas. Barry inbounds. That'll put Barry and Pritchard at the guards with Manning, Piper, and Marshall on the front line. Barry's really getting a lot of QT quality time. This year when his season started, Keith, he was like almost a walk-on player. They took away the scholarship. I believe he's got it back. He certainly has earned one. The kid has given him quality time. Ball is thrown away. I think Danny Manning got a little push in there. Somebody got away with it. The ball sailed out of bounds. And here comes NC State now with Quentin Jackson handling the ball. Well, he played at DeMatha High School. He's part of the DeMatha connection for Morgan Wooten, a heady player. Doesn't have, like I said, the great quickness. Oh, Shockerberg right. forces one inside. Not a heady play right there by Shockerberg. But it's off Kansas, and State keeps it. Scooter Barry is out. Otis Livingston back in for Kansas. I really believe this is Kansas' best lineup right now, playing Piper, Manning, and Marshall across the front. Bad pass. Lester saves it. Jump ball called, and possession. Calm Will down, go guys. to NC State. Lester gets a little hot. But they stop it. Remember, if anybody comes off the bench, it's an automatic two-shot technical this year. Charge to the head coach. Ball goes inside. Now they go after the loose ball. There's Lester now. He pounces on the ball. And the Manning says, take it easy. I don't want to fight. I want to play basketball, Avi. Out in front, Jackson handling it. Manning is checking Shackleford inside. They go to check, and Manning fouls it. Silly foul by Manning. That was his problem last year. He would commit some silly fouls. On Manning, that's two. Here's Valvano coaching Jackson. Davy Lester is calmed down now. He's wandering around, walking it off. Shackleford, first trip to the foul line. Ten points in the ball game. 64-61. Three-point lead for the Wolfpack. I'll always remember his first free throw attempt. It was against Kansas as a collegiate, and he threw up an air ball. Missed the first one. And a whistle and a foul on Rodney Monroe. One plus one. They were in the bonus that time, and he missed the top end of it. That's a second personal on Monroe. Jimmy decides to get Brown on a court and take out Shackelford. I believe he'll get Shackelford in down the stretch for Lester. Well, he's beats Chucky Brown out there, too. I don't know if Shackleford's still laboring a little bit from having a slight ankle sprain, but maybe just to give him some rest and prepare him for the last three minutes. Remember, he had not been shooting well, Pritchard, but looks good here shooting the ball. So yeah, far, three out of three from the foul line. There's Shackleford. There's a look at Shackleford. He was 20 for 33 coming into this game, and he's a much better shooter than that. This kid should be an 80% shooter. Oh, Luke, Carolina beating the fighting Illini at Illinois, 85-74. Dean Smith, the Michelangelo. North Carolina State by one point here at the Reynolds Coliseum on the campus in Raleigh. Vinny Del Negro has been a very prominent person in this North Carolina State change of playing philosophy, running and gunning and pressing. And this is Rodney Monroe, no deal, partially deflected. Manning rebounds, Livingston runs it, and now KU will set it up. See, they got to get shots for Del Negro. He's their best shooter. The ball always has a chance to go in if he's going to shoot the ball. Archie Marshall out in front with it. Oh, they lay some great screens against the man-to-man. -man. Pretty good play right there by Lester. He's a hustler, Keith. He's your kind of player. I know you love those scrappers, those fighters. He's limited also in his basketball ability. Got to have some blue-collar guys around to do the heavy work, you know. Yeah, he's a banger, a crasher. There he is, number 32. I love the way he comes off that screen, Pritchard. Pritchard moves well without the ball. That's a lost mark for most kids. On oh, a half Manning. Fouled by Lester. Well, Larry Brown's happy with that execution. They reversed the ball. They got it in the hands of Manning. But now he's going to have to convert on a free throw line. Lester has three fouls. Jackson out. Cortiani back in at the point guard. 
Maddie's only shooting 60%, 21 for 35 for the year on a free throw line. Four thirty-six, thirty-five to play in the ball game. He became a finalizer last year. I was a little tough on Danny during his first and second year because I thought he tried to play very small, but he always wanted to be a finesse player. And I thought last year he comes up empty there. I thought last year he started to finalize at the end of the game and taking control of the game. Manning has 26 points. Low scoring ball game. The way they've been running up and down the floor, you'd think they'd be in the 80s, but they're not. Whistle on the sidelines. See, Jimmy has went to a different style now, Keith. With the game on the line, we have seen the old Jimmy Balvano style of play. He's going to more tempo as we look at Larry Brown, the professor. Livingston just fouled out of the ball game. And Scooter Barry comes back in. And he gets a hug from Larry Brown. And you know about the incident earlier Larry this year. Brown. Sent him to the locker room at halftime and told him to put on his clothes. He said, grow up, young man, or you're not going to play. Well, it's a pretty good shot for Otis Livingston coming out of El Camino, J.C., and walking into the Larry Brown program. Yeah, Larry's such a disciplinarian. He wants really everything done in a finite way. Del Negro with 14 points in the ball game at the line gets the first. He's a great free throw shooter, Keith. He's like automatic on the line. He's the Steve Alford of college basketball on the free throw line for this year as you look at Livingston, the Juco player. Got great concentration, excellent follow through, and it comes out. I try to make the kid a hero, and he absolutely takes me to the tank. Thank you, Vinny. One point lead for NC State. Kansas with a bucket can take the lead for the second time in this half. They go inside, and Lester is whistled as they go to Manning. Yeah, Lester's finding it very difficult with the back screens. The toughest screen to defend in basketball is the back screen. And when Kansas gets their motion going and they lay those rear screens, they're very difficult to stop. Four fouls on Lester. Shot the foot coming for him. Interesting, the points off turnovers. In the first place, KU quit turning it over in the second half. So North Carolina State, which had... Points off turnovers in the first half, totals on the four in the second half. Good release right there by Manning. We're tied. And now he's going for the lead for the Jayhawks. When we talk about player of the year, he looks like a lot, but what a year Hersey Hawkins and Jeff Grayer are having. Two super players. Grayer out of Iowa State, Hawkins out of Bradley. Kansas has the lead, 66-65. This is the second time in the ball game they have had the lead. NC State leading most of the way. One time by nine, Corciano forcing it, loses the ball, and Kansas brings good, it back up. Good decision by Marshall. He didn't have the advantage. He backs the ball out. Not a good play by Corciano. Now watch the little curl move here. Piper, Barry, that's Manning, that little jump hook. Well, they're isolating him, Keith. They're clearing out the side. They're rotating a player away from him, and they're getting him one-on-one. -on -one. He's got 30 points, and that's KU's biggest lead in the ball game. At three points, and uh, Pritchard scrapping on the baseline, clears it to Barry. And he wants the ball at crunch time. And that's where we are right now. Three minutes, 10 seconds to play in the ball game. I like the way Barry's playing. Very heady on the floor. Inside Marshall partially blocked Chucky Brown cleans it off for the Wolfpack Into the corner Del Negro Two points. He can shoot it deep Great follow through excellent rotation Cuts a Kansas lead to one the pasta connection delivers the big one Corciani to Del Negro Oh, they run that back screen. I love that screen across the baseline Pritchard top of the key goes in. What a game we have. Unbelievable intensity on his floor right now. Kansas by three. 14 points for Pritchard. You know what I like too? Manning wants the defensive challenge. He's playing head-to-head -head on Shackleford. Knocks it loose from Shackleford. Piper saves it. Jayhawks leading by three. Alvano wants the foul inside on Manning. Who do you think they're going to finish this play with? Calling a set play. Was 
the screen. Manning will step out. Back door. They're going to try to isolate him. There it goes. That's too high, but he saves it. Well, they telegraphed that. That was the Marconi special. They telegraphed that, baby. Look and at timeout call. You've got 158 to play in a ball game. And a good one. It's a three-point lead for the Kansas Jayhawks just inside two minutes to play in a ball game. And college basketball returns here on ABC January 24. Michigan at Indiana. Temple at Las Vegas. The doubleheader starts at 2 Eastern time. That's a great doubleheader. Temple certainly outstanding, legitimate. Mark Macon, the best freshman point guard or scoring guard, actually, in America. And Jerry Tarkanian's got another tough team down here with Gerald Patio. Dave Burnson, our statistician, nodding his head. Vegas alumnus. Yeah, he loves Vegas. He never lets me forget about it. Uh, right now, they're going to try to constantly go to Manning. Three-point lead. Oh, they got a triangle. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Now, see, they'll swing the ball back to Manning. There it is. Jump hook good. Off what the glass. Keith, I Five point lead. I can't emphasize enough how Larry Brown designed that in a timeout. The isolation of getting Manning one-on-one -on -one down inside. Tremendous coaching. NC State getting to the point now where they need uh, something big. Chucky Brown puts it up, won't go. Archie Marshall soars to rebound it. Where has Mr. Shackelford been this second half? He's been very quiet. Quentin Jackson back in the ball game, call for a foul. Now they get the ball over to Manning as you watch this right here by clearing out the side, and then he has that little jump hook where he seals off the defensive player with his body. He's play, playing like a genuine Rolls Royce player. He made my Rolls Royce team along with Fennis Dembo and J.R. Reed. And a backcourt of Gary Grant and David Rivers. All right, Scooter Barry to the line. Can't get it. They're in the bonus now. Both teams and Scooter couldn't get it to drop in. Hit the back iron. Jackson hurries. They need Del, ne Del Negro to get outside and go for that three-pointer. They got to get Del Negro free, but now they're playing tough That's defense. That's a three-pointer by Monroe, and it's not good. And the rebound is over. The outstretched arms of Chucky Brown, and here come the Jayhawks with the ball. See, Barry's going to have to make these free throws. His dad was automatic on the line. He must have jumped out of his seat when Scooter missed that one-on-one. Less than a minute. See, they're well-disciplined right here. They spread the four. Foul Jackson. One plus one. Wow. Not he wants to. Ho, ho, ho. He wants to. He wants to. 72 67, five point lead. And everything right now favors Kansas. This is a big win for Kansas on the road. Now they go over to New York playing a holiday festival against a good Memphis State team despite losing. As we look at Larry Brown, those two young players who really have to be guilty as well as the agent getting involved like they did down there at Memphis State. They certainly got an yeah, old right they won look. a big ball game the other night without them. Yeah, they did. Great Keith job Bradley by the overtime. Yeah. I watched it. It was a heck of a ball game. Pritchard. No! Won't go down for him, and North Carolina State's got to hurry now. They fail by five. 35 seconds. Monroe out front Jackson uh, he's pinned off by Barry and they almost turn it over got to put it up they got to go to Del Negro won't go Chuck all Brown over loses the rebound it's all it's over Good night. And it's oh yes it's dance time in Lawrence Kansas baby it's rock and roll time oh Larry's that quick. counts oh Larry is furious the basket doesn't count these are big eight officials well, they got to face him in the Lawrence, Kansas. They get a foul prior to the conversion. Barry back on the foul line. With only 21 seconds, this could really be your door slammer right here. Bingo. Good basket right there by Barry. As a look at Jimmy Valvano, this is the first time his team has had a real test today after playing Tampa and also playing Vermont. All right, you got 21 seconds. It's a five-point difference. That means that North Carolina State's got to have at least three possessions. Well, two possessions if you talk.
All right, 21 seconds to play in the ball game. And, uh, we're sort of muddled up there for a moment. If he makes this free throw, that means three possessions for North Carolina State. Yeah, it goes up seven. Our math was a little slippery right there, Mr. Jackson. I was never bright mathematically, but with a three-point shot, you're right. If he converts this and it goes to a plus seven, they need three possessions. This puts the game away. 21 seconds. Barry, three points. And now four. It's all over. That's a big one. It's academic, as they say, Mr. J. Rodney Monroe bringing it up. They come out. Pritchard comes out and stops him in a hurry. Didn't want, want him to just come up there and cast off. Sean Green hammers at it. And didn't draw iron with it. And they tie up inside. And it is Kansas on the possession arrow. And that surely will do it with nine seconds to play. Danny Manning is going to finish the ball game with 32 points unless he gets something on this possession. He's back handling the ball right now. They don't need any more points. It's over. That's the fourth game in a row that Larry Brown has beaten Jimmy Babano. He's 4-0 against him. He's a happy, jubilant Mr. Brown. I hope he stays in college. This ABC exclusive brought to you by Honda, who invites you to experience the Accord LX four-door sedan at your local Honda dealer by the makers of new Prestone Advanced Formula, the antifreeze that guarantees your radiator. By Tandy Computers, there is no better value. And by U.S. Armed Forces, it's a great place to start. Tomorrow on ABC Sports, final round of the Mazda champions from the Trial Golf and Beach Club, Montego Beach, Montego Bay, Jamaica, at 2 Eastern Time, except on the West Coast. At ABC's NFL Monday Night Football, the Los Angeles Rams and the Dallas Cowboys at 9 Eastern Time. Coming up, ABC's World News Saturday on most of these ABC stations. 7467, this is a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.